today's to see now in today's tutorial we will be looking on to the society so everyone must be aware what is a society so if people are if you are not aware about it, society is just a unique identifier for each and every record so each record will have a unique id which is called a society okay so today we will be looking into some use cases um, with respect to society so in some scenarios we need to know the a uh, no society of multiple record but society field is not easily available for users to display on form on list on reports while exporting it out this is because this field contains a unique numerical identifier for each record if the society id is modified or deleted this will lead to bad data or data loss okay the the below method can help you retrieving the society or displaying the society on the form list and exporting it out okay so let's go one by one on all the scenarios okay so for today's tutorial we will be looking we will be taking help from the problem module so i will just go to the problem problem dot dot list okay so this is where we can see the problem and we will go use case by use case so let's take the first scenario if your business requirement is to make the society field visible on the list view so this is a list view and if you want to make the society visible over here so basically what we do we go to the gear icon and we search for the field okay and we uh we we see this slash bucket we move from left side to right side and done it's it's visible on the list view but if we try to search for society i don't think we can find the society over here right so how to bring society on the list view so it's pretty simple okay first of all what you have to do you have to just navigate to system ui so i will just go to system ui in system ui just go to the list okay because we will be modifying the list view okay now here search the table on which you want to add the society field and op open it okay so basically i we want to add it on problem so we will go for problem table and here you can see all the views which are present for problem so we will be doing it for default view so i will open the default view for the problem okay now in the in the list element okay click the new button Oh yeah, just give the element as sys id. So how to give that? It's sys underscore id. Okay, you have to give it as element, and you can you have to position it out wherever you need. So I will give position number five. Okay, any value you can give. Okay, and submit. Okay. Now if I refresh the form, let's see if it's visible. So it's not visible right now, also, right? the reason is like you, if you are bringing the society on the list view right we have to just remove all our cache okay so what we will do we will go to the application menu and we will do cache dot do okay it will clear all the cache for the service now instance okay which we are working so now cache is clear okay now if we go and refresh the form okay let's do it once So now you can see on the fifth number the society field is visible. Perfect. Now let's move to the next use case. If your business requirement is to make the society field visible on the form, okay. Now let's open one of the form. Let's see if it's readily available over there. So this is a live default view, okay. And how we generally add any field on the list view is simply you go to right click configure form layout and under form layout you find for the field move it to the right slash bucket and boom that field will be there let's see if we can get the sys id sys id sys id sys id or if i do simply control f sys there is nothing like that right so how to get that field on the form view so this is also pretty simple okay so what you have to do is like you again go to the system ui ui 
under system UI this time you will be finding the views okay so go to the views on the view you just find the view which you want to see okay for which you want to modify the thing so I will search for default view okay so we'll go with this default view okay and under default view you can see there are form section there are 2767 form sections right so you can find the table on which you want to define this thing so I will give it as problem now I got the problem now wherever you see nothing right you have to open this out okay so basically we will open this particular problem default view in this problem uh, default view you have to add a section element now okay now how to add the section element it's simply click on new okay and here you have to type as element as sys underscore id because we want sys id and the type should be element submit okay now we have added the sys id now again we have to follow the same step we will do cache dot to let's just let it just clear the cache the cache got clear now if we refresh the form now you can see the sys id over here okay we can align it out but just for the purpose you can see the sys id came over here okay not the right place but yeah now this sys id you can see it's always read only right okay this will should always be read only okay there, there is an out of the box apl uh, which is called star sys id write okay which prevents write access for all users even admin okay we should not do do not touch this particular now uh, ACL okay please do not make this field editable for any user as this could lead to a considerably high data loss issue okay adding the CSID to the form or list view or, or reports as explained will be still prevented prevent user to export the CSID values to the file okay so we will go to the last use case where you want to export the data with with society also okay so basically if you export for example if i go to problems okay and if i do right click oh, sorry and i do export export to csv okay so generally you will not get the societies over there okay so let's try if we can get So I have downloaded it out. It will open. Just give it some time. Okay. And now you can see we have the society on our form on the list, but we were we are unable to see that society, right? So what if you want to have the society also to be exported, right? So for that, what you have to do, you have to, you can see the you, you are right. It's instance name dot problem list dot two. You have to append this thing out, okay, with a context which is and CSV, okay, whatever it's like. After that, you have to type and CSV, okay, and sysparam. underscore default underscore export underscore fails equal to all okay and now you can hit the enter okay I okay I, I just made 
Yes, yeah, some mistake. I will do one again. So let's go back. And what will I will do? I will simply give the act to equal to true query. So we will have problem dot list dot two, and after that we will add question mark. And now I have given the act query and CSV and this param default list we equal to all the same thing. I think I missed the question mark. And now the CSV again got downloaded. Yeah, I think like last time I missed the question mark. So if I open this document out, now you can see there are a lot of fields. And if we try to find the CSID, we should be able to find CSID also. Let me find like Control F, sys underscore ID, and now you can see the column of CSID also is there. Okay, so this is a HK scenario, but from most of the time you need CSID to have your data into sync, right? Or multiple instances. So it depends on the your requirements you are having in your project. But these are the ways through which you can. So you can add the society field on the list view. You can add it on the form, and you can also export the society with this, with all the other attributes also. Okay. Hope you like this video. Please like, follow, subscribe, and stay with me in this journey of service now learning. Please drop comments because your comments are really helping me out to get the next topic for my videos. Till then, stay safe, stay happy, and have a nice day. Thank you.